welcome back dear students today we shall discuss the elective paper european drama so we are discussing the second module which has four classical dramas and we are discussing jean raisin's phaedra today so phaedra is a classical play by the greatest playwright seneca and today we are discussing jean raisin's version of phaedra and let's see a few biographical informations of jean raisin so this is a picture of jean raisin jean raisin is a french dramatist and one of the greatest playwright of 17th century france along with moliere and corneille and he is also an important literary figure in the western tradition basically he is a tragedian as major works include iphigenia phaedra atalia eurydice jean raisin theater complete and atalia so let's see the major characters in the play first and foremost character is phaedra herself so phaedra is a well, is a daughter of cretan king minus and pasiphae she is married to theseus and she is in love with her steps in hippolytus hippolytus is a son of theseus and antipo the king uh, the queen of amazon and he is also famous for his chastity next us theseus theseus is the king of athens and also the companion of hercules he is also famous for his legendary expeditions next is areca areca is a royal princess with whom hippolytus have a love affair and she is the only surviving member in the family which was once destroyed by theseus and next is onon onon is a nurse of phaedra next is ismen ismenus areca's friend next is pano pano is a messenger who exchanges the messages between hippolytus and phaedra next is theramenus theramenus is a tutor to hippolytus so as i told you phaedra is a classical play by the playwright seneca so it is a classical play so we have to see the important points as a classical play so it was a roman tragedy with greek subject and it was written in about 1280 lines of verses it was written before 54 ad and it narrates the story of phaedra the wife of theseus and her consuming lust for her steps in hippolytus seneca portrays phaedra as a self aware direct in the pursuit of her steps in while other retellings treat the myth she is more of a passive victim of the fate and play has influenced dramas over two millennium particularly the works of shakespeare and also the dramas in 16th and 17th century france this particular play has numerous numbers of retellings and readaptations one among us phaedra by jane raisin that we are studying right now next is phaedra's love by sara kain so seneca's version of phaedra is even continued to play today so that's all about the overall overview of the classical play phaedra so now, now let's move to the plot summary so when the play opens phaedra is all alone in the palace as hippolytus is leaving for hunting her husband theseus had left the palace four years back to underworld in pursuit of somebody else she is totally alone in the palace okay she uh, all she have is a company of her nurse so when hippolytus leaves for hunting she is totally depressed nobody is around her because she is in totally love with this man hippolytus but she has never declared her love for hippolytus knowing this this nurse she asks phaedra to control her emotions and love for hippolytus okay and he phaedra is lamenting for her fate because she is comparing herself with her mother her mother pasiphae was cursed by somebody to fall in love with a bull and also she was supposed to give a birth to a monster phaedra was comparing herself with her mother okay so this is all about the first part the condition of phaedra next let's see what about hippolytus okay hippolytus hates women in general and phaedra in particular she never like women 
ऑल्दो ही ईज इन लव विथ एरिका शी कम्प्लीटली डिसलाइक द कैटेगरी ऑफ फीमेल स्पेशली फीजा एंड आई मीन वाइल ही कम्स बैक कम्स बैक फ्रॉम हंडिंग एंड मीन वाइल आर नर्स आस्क हिपोलाइटिस टू बी मोर सॉफ्ट एंड ऑल्सो टू सीक द कंपनी ऑफ वीमेन एंड इन रिटर्न हिपोलाइटिस tell said that it is better to live in a forest in the company of human beings to uh, rather than getting the company of women so at this point phaedra enters she ask hippolytus to take the charge of the country because his father theseus was a king now he is not at the palace so as a biological son as a legal son he is supposed to take care of the whole country affairs so he thought what phaedra said was right so he was support no he was ready to take the charge of the country so at this point phaedra openly admits her love for this particular man hippolytus hearing this news hippolytus was shocked and he pulled out his sword to kill this lady but he couldn't kill her she, he threw away his sword and went back to forest so it was so forest was always a sort of relief for this particular hippolytus so after this incident phaedra was totally shocked she was totally depressed and she along with nurse plans to uh, plot against this particular hippolytus she, she planned for uh, okay they together accuse hippolytus for incestuous desire if they plan of the accuse hippolytus was incestuous desire he would marry phaedra that was the wish of phaedra so uh, they plan such a thing so at this particular point this man theseus who came back from underworld after four years so when theseus is back to palace nurse she began to plot something okay she is planning for a suicide she would say that she has this deep sorrow in her mind she will not tell to anybody else so she act like she won't tell to anybody she would suicide, commit suicide at that particular point so tasius asked his courtiers to uh, catch this uh, nurse in a chain until she commit her grief until she openly declares her grief at this point phaedra comes and tells this man this tasius that she had been raped by her his son hippolytus tasius couldn't believe what this lady has told okay he never expected his son to do such a such a primitive act so he was shocked and hearing this news he called his father neptune to destroy hippolytus hippolytus is son is his his son and phaedra is his wife so he couldn't save he was not able to no he he didn't like to save his son because he committed such a big crime or he committed such a immoral crime so he called in neptune to uh, destroy hippolytus so as uh, they were plan to kill hippolytus suddenly tasius heard the news of the death of hippolytus hippolytus was killed by a sea monster he was savagely killed okay after hearing the death of hippolytus phaedra comes to tasius and openly admits that hippolytus was innocent okay i was the person who committed all sort of mistakes and i committed such a big crime and i am not able to live and i am not perfect in the world to continue my life so saying this she is also confessing that hippolytus was innocent she commits suicide so at the end of the play both hippolytus and uh, phaedra both of them dies hippolytus have a savage death where this lady phaedra commits suicide by confessing hippolytus innocent okay that's all about the plot summary of particular work thank you for listening to my class thank you